In this video, I want to make a slight change to our actual code real quick, just because I'm not using an animation montage or anything for the weapon. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have a separate animation dedicated just for slide lock, well, for it to slide, lock the slide to the rear. So when this fires, we're going to just leave the slide locked back. We're not going to have it go forwards. We're just going to have a dedicated animation for that. So. Frame 2, the hammer drops. I want to just copy these frames here. Unlink this animation, make a new one. 1911. Let's call it Fire Slide Lock. And I cannot paste those in. Neat. Alright, so we'll just do it manually. So there, frame 2. There. Frame 2, hammer drops. We have frame 4. Slide should be to the rear, I think. So let's check it. So frame 3, part way back. Okay. Frame three, we want to have the hammer. Just like so. So now that that's set up, we also want to have the slide release go up and into position. So just like that. And this is four frames long. All right, so this is going to be our slide lock animation. Let's go ahead and export it. I want to make sure to check fake user. Doesn't matter for exporting, but just so I keep it. Well, this one, I'm in the wrong section. Weapon. Fire, slide, lock. Make sure presets are good, and export. Let's go ahead and bring this into Unreal Engine. Uh, what now? All right, so now I remember. I have to change the uh, scale to 100 when importing due to that issue. So I change it to 100 and import. Let's look at it. some reason the hammer. Oh, I didn't even catch that. Hammer should still be locked to the rear. All right, let's re-export. And re-import. So we're going to make sure to keyframe the slide release a little bit better. Not sure if we're going to be able to. I don't know how we can even go between frames. I think we're just going to have to deal with it, which it's not that big of a deal. I don't think you're going to notice anyways with how fast this goes. I can't even pause it in time. Yeah. So 
we have our slide lock animation. We can make a quick alteration to our code. So if ammo is left is greater than zero, if ammo left equals one, play slide lock animation. Else, play normal fire animation. and decrement ammo left and return true. Now we're gonna make a new animation sequence variable, call this one slide lock animation. We're gonna do pretty much this. So if Uh, what was it called? If slide lock animation, then we perform it. What are you complaining about? All right, I highly disagree that it's undefined. Okay, that's just an annoying, annoying attempt sense of crap. All right, so let's go ahead and add that animation. So slide lock animation, 1911, fire slide lock. So now, whenever we are at one, it should lock it to the rear, which it does. So we can see our hand through the uh, pistol a little bit, but that's just due to the faces. That's not that big of a deal. And I press R, go back to normal, six, and shot number seven. It locks it to the rear. So we have our slide lock animation in place. And I'm going to leave this video here, and we will start working on the actual reload and setting everything up in the next one. So I'll see you then.